Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I'm here to do the Scorpio full moon reading and the daily vibe for around the 27th. Keep in mind that the timing is fluid. Now this is the fourth one, the fourth one. So I've done three. I let one of them is downloading now. I have to tell you, it's not pretty. Um, but what I've gotten so far is that there is some truth big truths that are about to be revealed illusions are about to be blown apart okay uh get prepared get prepared for you to deal with your illusions okay that's what's happening okay so you are going to probably be seeing something receiving some sort of clarity or having a conversation with somebody that really wakes you up okay there is, there's like a mass awakening going on. Any type of illusion is about to be revealed, okay? In a very big way, and it's going to change your perspective, okay? Perspect, perspectives are about to be changed, okay? So I'm going to try one more time, and uh, we're going to let this go through. I do realize that I have four more May readings to, to do. And um, those are on the agenda. I don't know if I'm going to get them done tonight. If not, I will get them done as soon as I can. Um, I have disabled my cards for sale for a minute because my life is just too busy. So I will, I will re-enable the decks to be for sale when I, my life settles down just a bit. Um, I am not accepting private readings at the moment. Um, so yeah, I just answered a couple couple of people's questions that I've received. Um, so let's get started. What do we have for around this full moon? Other than, you know, some truth is about to be revealed. It's been hidden below the surface. It's been bubbling. There's been massive fantasy, massive illusion, a lot of secrets that have been hidden. And uh, this is, it's a massive reveal, okay? or uh, clarity that is coming. Mm. Ace of Swords reverse. So that is lack of awakening. It's a loss of power. It's not telling the truth. There's lies. There's miscommunication or no communication. Um, and that's where we've been. There's been some sort of lies. Dishonesty. Eight of Wands. Now this is messages. This is more and more and more and more things coming out. So things are going to come out. A lot of things are going to come out. High Priestess. There's the secrets. There has been secrets. Okay. And they are about to be revealed. Somebody has been not communicating. They have not been communicating. Here they come. Okay. There's no communication. This is communication from somebody that has been keeping the secrets. This is all part of the script. It is. It's all part of the script, okay? Get prepared for some messages to come or some information to come out that has been hidden. I don't I don't even know need the cards because I already know. I've already this is my this is my fourth time. Um, higher power involved. Interesting. Interesting. There is a higher power involved. Um the high, the Hierophant is the highest authority, even higher than the Emperor. Okay, this is this is a an, an energy of um, high authority. Um, and there's a need to have faith. There's a need to have faith and trust. There's a higher power that is going to be revealing something. Um, Mm. We have high intuition here as well. Three of Wands reversed, totally unprepared. We have somebody is unprepared for the truth to come out. They are totally unprepared. Lack of foresight. There is lack of foresight here. We got somebody here that has not been seeing the truth. 
here it comes, absolutely 100%. This is this is access to God. I know I can say that it's traditions and I can say, you know, what the book says, but I don't that's not who I am. We have this is like a spiritual teacher of some sort. There's some sort of uh guidance here put it that way divine guidance four of swords now de this is the death of a person or idea there's a need for healing there's it's a time to heal and there's a higher power that is going to be bring, bringing in some sort of healing energy here. We do have healing energy. There's been wasted time. Somebody has been wasting their time perhaps on a commitment that is uh, traditional. Ha 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 ha. That is conventional. That's wasting time. It's a dead end. There's a need to heal and go within and reflect. This is pretty much going to be the same message. Um, we do have a dead end here. We do. This is this is a need a need for healing. So a healing energy is coming in. It is. There's been dishonesty. There's been a lack of truth. There's been a lack of clarity, but I feel like the higher power, the divine is going to bring some messages of clarity. Okay. Strength reversed. Justice reversed. There's been an injustice. There's been lies. There's been lack of integrity. There's been unfair treatment. Somebody's been taken advantage of. There's been legal flaws. There's been lack of accountability and dishonesty. But the higher power sees all. This is doesn't believe. This is a need to believe. Get prepared. Because some truth is about to be revealed, it may leave you in disbelief. There has been some unfair treatment and an injustice. And we have an argument with no resolution in sight. And that's why the higher power is here right now. This is in the now position. Right now. I wonder if we have somebody here that is sick. They could be in balance. They could even be mentally in balance. But there is some sort of sickness here. Right here and right here. There's some sort of illness. There's guidance. Somebody is being guided out of a situation that is very unhealthy. It is definitely unhealthy. In this situation, it doesn't have to be physical health. It could be mental health. It could be a partnership that somebody is in that is unhealthy. We definitely have an unhealthy situation where somebody is feeling dead or empty inside and healing is needed. And clarity is needed. But there's a lack of acceptance of truth. Okay, that's what that is. And somebody has abused their power. They have. But something is some sort of information is going to come out a lot. I think it's going to be more and more and more and more and more and more and more. It's going to keep coming and coming and coming and coming. Messages are going to come or information is going to come. And it's going, I feel like there's going to be some sort of realization of the truth. Yeah. 
not seeing the opportunity. Somebody hasn't been seeing something. They've been complacent. They've allowed themselves to be taken advantage of. Could be dealing with a Libra, could be dealing with a Leo, could be dealing with a Taurus. Could be dealing with a Pisces. Ten of Cups. Happiness is in the future. This is the future. This is the end of a desperate situation. Happiness is coming. Fulfillment. But it comes after some sort of truth comes out. I know that there's truth coming out. Somebody's going to be receiving some messages. And I don't know if this is from a counselor, that we could have a counselor here, or somebody that is very spiritual, that is very, very gifted, that is giving a message. Somebody that works for God. A message is definitely, or messages are coming. You don't see it coming. We have a desperate situation that is coming to an end, and it does lead to happiness. It does. It does. Mm. I feel like there, somebody has done something illegal or against the law. This is somebody that is a coward. And I think that things are going to... The truth is going to come out about these illegal dealings. Whatever these illegal dealings are. Could have something to do with... You know, an organization or a corporation or a commitment or a marriage. There's been a lack of foresight, but I do believe that something is about to be revealed. Ten of Wands reversed. Now that is making a conscious change. Letting go of something that has been weighing you down. Freeing, being freed from a burden. Somebody is about to be freed from something. They need to break free. They've been holding on and it's killing them. This is making a conscious change. Balance is waiting. Somebody is going to be committing themselves to letting go of something. They are. They may be divinely guided or they may receive some information or messages that help them to let go. Somebody is going to be letting go of something. Absolutely. Dropping the burden, dropping the baggage, dropping the weight. I also feel like we have somebody here that it, this is another story. We have somebody here that is very self-sufficient, that is independent, that is uh, has chosen to be alone, that may be getting into a commitment. 
The high priestess chooses to be alone, focuses on maybe a spiritual person, is very spiritual, you know, doesn't really engage with other people, keeps to themselves, getting into a commitment. Somebody may be being divinely guided into a commitment. They may be communicating with somebody more and more and more and more, and they're unprepared for a commitment, and it develops into a commitment. This could be the end of suffering, leads to happiness, leads to a marriage, leads to a happy home. Whatever is happening, there is a higher power here that is involved. That is bringing change because that Eight of Wands is change. This is the end of some sort of situation where there has been pain. What comes before the three of four of swords, the three of swords. Somebody has been in a painful situation where they have been grieving and they have been suffering. I feel like it's over. And they are unprepared for what is coming. Happiness is right around the corner. It is. But it comes with, with acceptance and it comes with truth. Somebody was treated unfairly and taken advantage of in the past. But I feel like there's a healing energy here that is coming in and moving somebody towards, because this is moving, moving somebody right towards happiness, a happy relationship, happily ever after. I feel like we have somebody here that has gone within to heal. They've gone within. They've focused on themselves, and they're and they're now they're going to be getting into a new commitment. They're unprepared for it. They weren't looking for it, but here it is. But they have to accept something first. There's been a lack of acceptance, a lack of truth. And maybe it's self-deception. Ah, there's been abuse. I was going to clarify that. Ace of Swords and the Lovers reversed. Of course, this is the end of a false contract. Somebody was abused by an individual that deserted them in their time of need. They've made a poor choice. And this is a breakup. It is a separation. It is uh, <laughs> it's a separation. It is. It's clarifying that Ace of Swords. Somebody has been under another person's control. They have. They've allowed themselves to be under. And I. it's basically the same story. We have a corrupt individual here that has committed some sort of crime. Okay, justice in, is reversed. There's a crime here. This is like a criminal. We have a criminal here that is about to... Uh, and it's a false contract. The lover's reverse is a false contract. This is the end of a contract. We have a coward here. We definitely have a coward here. This person uh, doesn't want responsibility. They don't tell the truth. This person looks out for number one, number one only. Um, does not respect others. This person is going down in some way because that Ace of Swords is going down. Letting go. A change is coming. A change is coming. We have a higher power that is guiding a change. We have a contract that is coming to an end with an individual that is abusive. This person is a tyrant or a narcissist, male or female. We have a power-hungry individual that may be breaking the law. This person could be getting caught by the authorities as well there could be i mean because we have the highest authorities here so i do believe that we have somebody here that has abused their power in some way they have probably broken the law they lack respect from others they got themselves into a contract they may have uh, abandoned somebody or 
Well, they took advantage of them. That's what they did. There's consequences with that lover's card next to that emperor. It could be dealing with the Aries, could be dealing with the Capricorn, could be dealing with anybody. Somebody that is in a position of authority has been, but this person is inexperienced. You know, they shouldn't be in the position of authority, but they were put in the position of authority. This person's going to be losing their position. Put it that way. They're about to have a legal loss or uh, some sort of karma. Okay, we got justice, which is karma. Whoever this person is that has abused their power and has deserted somebody in their time of need, whoever this person is that is corrupt is about to receive some karma. They are about to, their contract is about, some sort of contract is coming to an end. It's a false contract. It wasn't meant to be. It was based on lies and it's coming to an end. Somebody has definite, this is somebody that has a very big ego. I feel like there's, there's, because this is, a, this is balance is waiting. This, this Hierophant, this access to God, this higher power is going to be bringing balance, going to be balancing out the scales. This individual going down, down, not up, down. This is a separation or a loss. The lovers reversed. It's a disconnection. Okay. We definitely have one-sidedness here with the lovers reversed and the uh, justice reversed. We have a one-sided situation where somebody was taken advantage of by a corrupt individual, whether it's a boss or it's a husband or a wife or a leader. We have a corrupt individual here who has been lying about something. They haven't been telling the truth and they are about to experience a loss. There is karma here. And the loss could, could become in, in the form of a relationship, a partnership that is separating. What goes around comes around, right? And you know what's interesting? Because I often say justice has two sides, right? There's two sides. The other person is getting into a relationship. Or getting married or something like that. Uh, or getting into a relationship that does lead to marriage. Um, anyhow, um, this is the end of a partnership or a union that is not meant to be. Somebody is in a position that they are not qualified for. They're not qualified for it, and they're going to be losing their position. Happiness is right around the corner. So anyway, I feel like this is a time of change with that Eight of Wands. Everything happens for a reason. It's all part of the script, right? This is the end of suffering. I feel like we have something better in the future with that Ten of Cups. This is a blessing. I feel like, I want to say married, getting married. I feel like somebody's getting married. I don't know why. Anyhow, um... Unprepared with that lack of foresight, happiness is right around the corner. This is the end of a painful situation where there has been a lot of heartache and grieving. The time alone has served somebody well. There is some sort of secrets that are about to be revealed as well about a false contract with a tyrant. This tyrant is going to be experiencing some legal losses. Good luck.